Well, we're on our way to the starting line. Just a little over an hour to our start. Got a nice breeze out here on the water. Maybe appear out there in the distance. Well, look at that, here we go. Somebody didn't pack that, somebody did not pack their chute very well. Uh-oh. Okay, this is being captured on film, we'll have to send them this clip. Well, you may have noticed we're on a different board. Uh, they're predicting southwest winds for a good deal of the day, and uh, of course, hour and a half into the race. Uh, we've got the northeast wind, so. Take it as it comes. We're still uh, sailing uh, about straight north at uh, six knots, so we can't complain about that. Oh, excellent. Uh, enjoying some fine uh, uh, cuisine here. It's the blue uh, chip special. <laughs> yes, yeah, so as opposed to the blue plate special. Right. Yes. <laughs> uh, things started out so promising, and then uh, here we are, just uh, drifting along, and just a couple knots of breeze. Um, well, we're on our uh, our sh our shift break right now. We're gonna have a little dinner, and then uh, about four hours later, we'll be uh, back up topside. Pull the sheet. Get the twist out. Okay, we are videotaping Otto at work, the most valuable member of the crew, Mr. Autopilot. Never complains about the food. Not too hot, not too cold. We're in 343 feet of water. We are going 56 miles an hour. Oh, 5.6. And the wind's at about 125, 130 degrees off the starboard quarter, about nine miles an hour. That's what the data shows. of Frankfurt. CSA Beach in there somewhere. Point Betsy, which is a point. Sleeping bear in the distance. It's a point we have to clear. When we hang a right, head up the Manitou's. So we're running with our uh, reacher right now, and hopefully this will carry us all the way through the uh, Manitou Passage. Mm. Now on the uh, starboard side of the boat, we've got uh, 
some company. He's going south and uh, we're going north. It's a big channel. There's room for everyone. Even though we've got rights on this guy as a sailboat, we're just uh, we're just not going to push it. So on our way to uh, the bridge, get too soft here. Right. Right. Who's moving the boat? This is going to make people seasick. And on the opposite side of the boat, we've got the moonrise. Not much more you could ask for for a, finishing up a fine day of sailing. Well, it's Monday, and Rick's busy uh, cooking eggs and uh, bacon and uh, cinnamon muffins. Looks really looking pretty good for eight gentlemen being aboard. Everything's put away and neat. The end is almost in sight. We have now been racing for, I think, three days. It's just about three o'clock uh, Chicago time. It's been a lot of fun. We're all sad that it's coming to an end. We still have a party to go to. Oh, that's right. We've got an awards uh, party to go to if uh, everything uh, comes out okay. Here is intuition. We led him for probably close to 90% of the race. And at uh, Gray's Reef, he overtook us. We had a real slow period there, and he unfortunately was able to uh, catch some wind. And, uh, well, that's, that's it. Sometimes the brakes go your way, and sometimes they don't. Mackinac Bridge. Mackinac Island in the background, finish line, over there. Gosh, I hope we make it! <laughs> Oh, plenty of room to spare. Hope no one throws anything out of their car. Around the home stretch. Just four more miles to go until the finish line and uh, get that sight behind us. There must be 30 spinnakers. It's a fun time. Getting close to the finish line. There's a lot of very fast boats coming up behind us. 